Hello, welcome to part 8, uh, a tutorial where we create an uh, interactive web application. And in this part, we'll be uh, actually add the interactivity to our sense so that we uh, can click on the material options and uh, change uh, the materials on the model. So, in order to do this, we'll be using uh, a tool a visual scripting tool called puzzles which is accessible from the app manager just find our uh, application which is called nightstand and run puzzles and when you run puzzles first time uh, it will probably looks uh, somehow different this is because the size of this uh, editor uh, depends on the screen resolution you are using so if for example you don't see this button because it's uh, too big for your screen resolution you can just click uh, your right mouse button and select reset editor dimensions so that it fits uh, to your screen resolution okay so how do we change how do we add the interactivity actually so uh, uh, in order to do this we'll be adding uh, puzzles from the different categories and the first category which we interest us the most is called events so let's drag out the puzzles which is called when click it to our workspace we can um, zoom it a bit uh, by using these buttons or reset zoom by and the position and center the position by using this button and um, uh, let's work with it so we want uh, we'll be starting from the metals here we want uh, that the user click by clicking on this sphere object uh, changes uh, the metal for the legs of our model so let's implement this we need uh, to know which uh, object the user clicks on. To do this we go to selectors and uh, drag out the first puzzles cause, cause the, which, with the camera on it but actually it contains uh, a lot more objects which are found in our scene and uh, we want uh, that by clicking on the for example sphere paint black so on this black sphere uh, the metal on the legs changes from this reflective material to this black material right how do we do this we do this by using another puzzle in the materials category called assign material so we drag it out and insert it to the do slot and we want to assign materials we need to specify what material we want to assign and we do this by using another selector material selector drag it out insert it to this and select paint black so once the sphere is clicked the paint black materials will be assigned to and we need another selector so let's edit uh, and we now see that we actually forgot to rename our, our parts of the model properly so that it now displays uh, like uh, various uh, cubes instead of um, uh, actual uh like a human readable so we need to guess which one is uh, named how so uh, we want to save it we want to save it for now and return to blender and rename it properly so 
uh, let's see what is it this is uh, body let's name it body this is a drawer let's name it drawer drawer this is legs yes let's name it legs and the final object will be renamed legs tips okay we need to well re-export this scene in order for these uh, updated object names to share in our app so let's export we can also save our scene return to puzzles and click refresh right now we see that the object name which we selected before is colored red it's because it is uh, not found now but instead we get body drawer legs and legs tips objects which we can use to assign our paint black material to but we'll be not using body of course because we need we need legs we need legs okay uh, let's save this is a, a, always a good idea to save your puzzles save and now in order for this scenario to apply to our scene so it's, it doesn't work now we need to uh, run it to run it and we do this by clicking play here so let's click it okay and now let's click on the black sphere and yeah the material change it it's now uh, replace it the, repla the reflective material is replaced by uh, not so reflective uh, matte black material and this is what we wanted all right so uh, let's implement uh, changing uh, out of material so let's make it uh, this white sphere uh, to, to be interactive so let's select this group of puzzles and right click duplicate or we can just use the shortcut control C select it control C control V and will it will duplicate it so instead of black we want to select white now we select white sphere and assign material white material to the object legs all right so let's save it Let, let's uh, convert it to to code which is run it in the browser uh, so let's click white sphere and it changes so black and white are changed so the only thing left is to to do this chrome material so duplicate sphere chrome chrome and um run it right it works perfect uh, so this is this is it for now um, thanks for watching uh, and uh, see you later